Hey folks, Sam with TNVC, and in today's edition we're going to talk about the uh, Maul Class 1 Plus laser. Uh, right here I have a, a rifle set up, uh, one of our personal rifles here at TNVC, uh, and it's set up basically how the Maul was intended to be set up on a rifle. Um, as you can see, it sits on the rail, uh, this is uh, set up in a right-handed mode, and it uh, interfaces very well with rails, especially running lights on um, the side you have the laser on. Uh, lights such as the Surefire uh, M300 and 600 series as well as the X300 series uh, fit right underneath this uh, and uh, are very, very um, tight and compact. In addition to that, it interfaces with uh, all the uh, switches out there to include uh, our tap switch as well as some of the Surefire switches. I have another mall here. Uh, off the rail, um, and like I said, this is a class one plus laser. This is the first laser that, in many cases, will outpace class three restricted government lasers. Um, this laser is um, incredibly ergonomic, easy to use, very intuitive, and you can pretty much operate it with just your thumb. Um, it has some uh, pretty cool modes high, medium, and low, and uh, visible and infrared. The illuminator is what sets this laser apart from all the other class one lasers on the market. Um, I highly recommend you check them out. This, if you don't think this laser is for you, you got another thing coming because this laser is a game changer. It's going to blow your mind. Unboxing your mall laser. We'll come in a cardboard box with a seal. You will get an owner's manual, and you will get zeroing instructions as well as a zeroing target. You will get the modular laser, one CR123 battery, and a note card describing POI shift on initial firing. Remove the back module by loosening the battery and popping the detent out. You can also move the front module to the other side if you're left-handed by removing it as well. All it takes is switching it around. Once you've decided which side you want the laser to go on your rifle, put it back together as you wish. Insert the battery into the battery compartment. and then press all modules together. Push the detent back in and then torque the battery compartment screw on the detent until it is tight. Test your mall. Cycle through the different modes with the front bezel using the A and B buttons. Attach to your rifle and zero using the supplied target zero. That is all that is required. This is Don and Sam here from TNVC. We've got the Class 1 Plus Mall out tonight. Actually, it's early morning. And we've got targets set out at 100 and 200 yards. We're going to show you the various settings and what they look like through night vision. And we're going to fire off a few shots. Sam's down there shooting. Starting out, he's got 
the mall set with the switch all the way to the rear in what would be considered CQB mode. In this mode, you have a class one laser and you have a 60 degree field of view or flood on the illuminator. Go ahead, Sam. For this string of fire, he's going to have the switch in the center in mid-range mode. You still have a class one laser, but notice the illuminator and how much more focused it is. Now he's going to be firing in high power mode with the switch all the way forward. Still class one laser, but notice the illuminator. <laughs> 